So the first card you have in your past is uh, the Page of Wands. Okay, so this feels quite slow. It feels a little bit still. It feels like there's lots of hopes here. It's like, oh, I'm just sitting here. I'm just really still. I'm just thinking about all my hopes, all my dreams. Um, and that's what this page is doing. He's just sitting there or standing there really still. He's looking up to the top of this wand. He's thinking, oh, what am I dreaming about? Can I do this? Can I have this? That's kind of what he's thinking. And so, yeah, you had a lot of dreams. You had a lot of hopes, I think. There's one big one here. Um, there's actually some you had to let go of. That's what I'm seeing. Um, and, uh, yeah, I don't know if your head was a little bit mixed up at this time. It feels a little bit mixed up. And... Uh, it feels like you're taking this time out. You're taking this time of isolation. And I think you're doing this to really think. Really think about a person. Yeah, there's a person here. Uh, some kind of... It feels like a love connection. I'm not sure if you're together or not. It feels like maybe you're not or you weren't at this time. And I think you're taking that time out, the time you had to yourself, and you're making a decision. You are kind of think, okay, what am I going to do about this? Do I want this person or not? I've got this time to myself. Let's see. Let's really think about this. That's kind of what I'm getting there. So, yeah, there's a turn around here as well. So it looks like someone left and maybe they were giving you hints. Maybe they were making noises about, oh, maybe I want to see you again. Things like that. Maybe that's a possibility. Maybe they were sending you little messages or giving you some kind of indication that that's what they wanted to do. They wanted to come back around again. And, you know, I think you were just thinking about all that. And they know they've done something wrong. I'm getting that here because, you know, they're, they're kind of thinking, oh, I want to come back to them. And I know I've done something wrong. I know I have. I, I don't know if they'll have me back, but I want to. I want to kind of hope for this. I want to wish for this. I want this to happen. Um, there's a little bit of immaturity around them because pages are students, you know, they're teenagers. So there's that as well. And, and I think you know that's there. But there was still a lot, there's a lot of depth here, lots and lots of depth. I'm getting a big, big, deep feeling. And you really, really felt very, very deep for this person. I can really feel this very, very deep, very early on, very deep early on very very deep and it really bowled you over I think it's like wow very deep feelings um, and you do feel very deeply and a lot of people don't get this about Aquarius because you can be a little bit quiet uh, you can be that kind of background person but you're very 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 deep you don't let that on to a lot of people it's like you you think more than you say so not many people know what your very deep thoughts and your very deep feelings are. You keep a lot of those things to yourself, I think. And, you know, just, just thinking about the word Aquarius, I'm just thinking about the word Aquarius, makes me think of um, deep oceans. So you don't say a lot, but you feel a lot. You feel a lot. It's deep in there. And just, just thinking about the sea and the depths of the sea, and I'm just looking across, across at the Queen of Cups, which is all about that water, sea, all that kind of thing. Uh, deep emotions and you know when when a diver I'm just thinking when a diver um, you know dives right down into the sea he goes all the way down really really deep and, and sometimes it can take him a really really long time to come back up again if he's gone down really deep and I think that's what happened to you I think you fell really really deeply in love you went right down deep into the sea and it took you a long time to come back up again to get over all that and maybe you're still not quite over that maybe you're not up to the surface yet so you've got all these things to think about you've got lots of ups and downs lots of things that happen with this person so you're thinking about all these things um and um yeah so use this time to think about this really really carefully really really carefully because there's some hurt there because obviously they went away and they're coming back around again um, they went away for a reason or there was a separation for a reason so you've got to think really carefully about that and you know so use the time to think about that but also use this time to to not think about them as well if that makes sense you know, use it to get your independence back use it to get stronger um, and that way you know whatever you decide uh, you'll come out of this in a much better way than when you came in so Think about all that. Think about everything really carefully. And don't just think about, oh, how do they think? What are they thinking? What do they want? Think about what you want. Put yourself at the centre of this. So, uh, yeah, so the next card you have in your past is the Hanged Man. 
So yeah, obviously this is about waiting, holding back, thinking, being by yourself. So I'm seeing someone in isolation, so it might be you in isolation, and you're using that time to just think. Um, you know, you might have some people around you saying, oh, oh, just get over it, just get over this. It takes you a long time to get over things. It really, really does, because you're very, very, very deep. It takes you a long time. You know, you can't just click your fingers and get over things. You really can't. Um, so it looks like you're probably still not over this. That's kind of what I'm getting here. Um, yeah, they really turned your life upside down, like this man who's turned upside down. And, you know, I think... When you when you got together with them and, and all this happened and all this kind of blew up and it was all exciting, everything looked different to you. The whole world looked different to you. And I don't think it's gone back to the way it was yet. And I don't think it ever will, actually. It's like you've had to learn a whole new way of being now. And I think you've done that. But you're still going through that, I think. And, um, okay, yeah, I'm just seeing this. Um... If you're planning something with this person, because that's what I'm seeing in the Page of Wands, if you're planning something with them, and uh, yeah, there's this big thing you're planning with them, so maybe uh, maybe it was buying a house, or uh, maybe you're moving in together, or maybe you're moving to be somewhere with them. Um, and you know, obviously no one's traveling now or buying houses now. Um, but if you can, at least um, you know, think about planning or researching or doing whatever that was on your own. Think about doing this on your own um, and see if you can do that on your own because um, you know you don't have to do any of these things with a partner. You can do all those things by yourself. So definitely see if you can do that if that resonates and that way you're not missing out. And also that's giving you strength. It's like okay I did plan on doing that with this person but I haven't lost anything because I'm going to do them by myself. I'm really strong and, and that's what I'm going to do. Because I keep on seeing this, you know, it, it's, it's like, oh, you know, we had all these plans together and now they're not there. But you can do them by yourself. You really can. Maybe not right now, but you can at least start planning that. So see if you can um, work toward doing that if that's you. Okay, so the last card you have your past is uh, the Knight of Cups. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, again, really, really thinking about this person, this person that came, they went away, and now it looks like they're making noises of coming back again, or they're kind of giving you that indication that they're doing that. Um, this knight's a little bit like this. He, he kind of promises the world, and then he doesn't quite deliver. So I think that's what I'm getting here. All these promises, all these plans you had with this person. You know, this is the knight in shining armor, the promise of everything, all the hopes and dreams and all of that. That's what this is all about. And yeah, I'm just looking at this and I'm just looking back at the page of wands. Um, and, um, you know, the page of wands, he's in the desert. It's all dry, it's all kind of red, so he's in the desert. Um, and the knight of cups, you know, he's coming up to this water, so it's a bit the opposite. And, uh, but he hasn't got there yet. So the water's up in front of him and he hasn't got there yet. And, you know, I'm just comparing the two. And, you know, in a desert, you can get this, um, you know, this kind of appearance of water in front of you. What is it? Yeah, a mirage, that's what it's called. So you're in a desert and you, it looks like there's water in front of you. So you can get this mirage in front of you. And it can look really real. It can look like there's water up ahead of you. But it's an illusion. You know, it's the sun and the sand and the light just kind of playing tricks on you. So what you thought you had ahead of you, this kind of um, refreshing water, or these things that were promised to you, um, it was all a bit of an illusion, I think. It wasn't real. So, you know, I know it's difficult when um, you've got really, really deep feelings for someone, and I think you still do, actually. Um, but just think about that. You know, if someone's happy to offer you an illusion... Um, you know, do you want that? Think, do I want that? Do I want an illusion? No, you don't. You want the real thing. You don't want an illusion. And, you know, there could be reasons why someone offers you something and they can't give it to you. Sometimes it's because they're being sneaky. They're just lying to you. It can be that. Or it can be that, you know, they, they thought they could give you this and then it turns out they couldn't. So sometimes there are real reasons why that is. I'm just looking at both sides of this because you're you're making up your mind. You're thinking, oh, do I want them? Do I not? I've got all these things to think about. And I'm kind of doing that a bit too. So 
and just thinking about all the different options and things like that. So really explore everything while you've got this time again. Get everything clear in your mind. And don't skim over the bad things. Really look at everything. Because because I think, yeah, they're definitely thinking about coming back and talking to you. And, you know, if they're going to approach you, really, really have all the facts clear in your mind. Because, you know, my feeling is you've got all these deep feelings or you had these deep feelings for this person. A bit of them are still there. If they come back again, you might kind of jump back into those feelings again, especially if you're not quite healed yet, which is what I'm seeing might be happening here. So just be aware of having all the facts in your mind. And I'm seeing that again in the Queen of Cups. I'm seeing that here. So I'm just going to go right to your present, talk about this right now. Very emotional card. So again, get all the facts clear in your head because there's this risk again she's so emotional look at this queen you might just fall right back into your emotions again without really thinking properly when they come back to you again very very deep emotions i, I can feel this as well um now okay this is something that feels a little bit sensitive as well so i'm just going to talk about this other thing i'm seeing here very deep um, something's very deep in your emotions. Now, there might be something that happened to you a long, long time ago. Um, I, I think it really messed with your emotions, if this is you. Um, it, it's something that's really deep down there somewhere. It feels like you, it feels like it's locked away. It feels like it's locked away in your heart. And, um, you know, you know it's in there, but you don't like exploring that because it's very, very painful. So if that's you, if you know what that is, um, see if you can work through that. See if you can get that out of your system. Find a way to do that. Very, very old emotions. That's what I'm getting. Uh, you know, you might have to go into therapy if it's very, very serious. It might be, it might not be. Um, it feels serious to me. It really, really does. So something like that needs exploring with someone. So I hope you, if that's you, I hope you're hearing this. Um, but yeah, um, if you look at this cup, you know, this is how I'm seeing this. I just want to show you this. You know, this queen's holding this cup. Obviously, cups are about emotions, very, very deep emotions with this card. And if you look at the handles, they're spiked, very, very spiky. So if you went to hold this cup, it'd hurt you. You know, if you went to hold the handles, it'd hurt. So that's what these feelings are doing to you. They're very, very hurtful. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, and you don't like exploring them. I can see why, but I think they need to be explored. They need to be removed from you. So yeah, again, it might be counselling or something like that therapy. I don't know. It might not, um, but yeah, there's something back there if that resonates with you. Um, and yeah, there's something else in this card as well, and it's, it's, it feels kind of the opposite of that, actually. This is about lifting yourself up, really, really lifting up, because I'm getting a huge change in, you know, when I was looking at that hurt thing, and now I'm getting this really, this feeling of being really uplifted. So I think things are going to start to lift up for you, and I think this might happen through uh, work or study or something to do with that because I'm just looking at the cards underneath this and they're all money related. So I think with these plans that were cancelled or stopped or whatever, um, of course a lot of things are being stopped right now but what I'm getting here is there's some kind of plan to maybe study uh, or something about training, training in something that you knew might bring you more money in the future or income or something like that. So it might be training to be in a business, it might be training to do some kind of new career or something like that. It really looks like you started doing this or you wanted to do this and you had to stop whatever this was. Now, it might be because you're worried about spending money right now because the four of pentacles can be about that, that's down there. And, you know, everyone's a little bit worried about like, that right now everyone's holding on to their money because there's a really uncertain future obviously so we all know that but there are other ways to do this I think because what I'm seeing here this really uplifting it's like yeah there's another way there's another way that's what I'm getting you can do this you can do this there's some kind of door that's there for you that's opening for you all you have to do is see that it's there and, and maybe you can't see that right now, or maybe you're struggling to see that right now. Because if you look at this queen, obviously she's super emotional. She's got her head down, or she's focusing on the cup, she's focusing on her emotions. 
All she needs to do is lift her head up and she'll see that in front of her. So I think that's something you need to do. Really open up, really open your eyes, really think about how can I do this? How can I study or learn or learn to do whatever this skill is without spending money maybe, or maybe I can do this online. Maybe I can get a book on this. Maybe there's some way I can do this without having to do formal study if, if that's what you wanted to do. And, and sometimes practical things, working on practical things, um, you know, because you've got the Eight of Pentacles there. So working on practical things, that can really lift your emotions up. You know, just feeling as if you're back on the road, you're back on the road to doing something you want to do. I'm, I'm getting somewhere. I've got a goal in front of me. So think about all that if, if that resonates with you, because there is a way to do this. There really is. Um, so yeah, with the Eight of Pentacles, um, again, there's a path in front of you, there's opportunities in front of you, uh, opportunities to work, money, all that kind of thing. So try and be a bit more proactive, uh, think about the action, think about how can I do this, what's the practical way I can go about this. And uh, so, yeah, putting your mind to all that, I think putting your mind to all that, how you're going to study, researching that, and then the work that comes after that, I think that's really going to lift you up out of these um, really deep feelings, these really dif difficult feelings you're going through if you're still trying to heal um, with this old relationship. Because I'm just looking at this Eight of Pentacles. I'm just looking at this, you know, I know he's got an apron on. I know that. And I know their ties tying up the apron, coming down his back. But to me, they look a bit like butterflies. And butterflies are a sign of, you know, breaking free, breaking out of a cocoon, um, getting free, lifting up, flying up. And when I look at them on his back, it almost looks like they're about to kind of fly and kind of lift him up. So that's what I'm seeing happening to you. The work will lift you up. The work will lift you up. So really do that. Think about this goal that you want to do. Work toward that. That's going to help you. And I'm not saying you're, you're a depressed person. You might be, you might not be. But that work that helps a lot with the depressed people having a goal working toward that so just think about all that and with the four of pentacles i may as well talk about that here um so yeah obviously you're holding on to your money right now and that's what i was seeing um in you know the eight of pentacles as well um you could do this you can learn this you can do this for free there's a way to do this you can still save your money you can still learn this thing um, and with this love connection, uh, yeah, there's a little bit of a warning here because look at this man, he's hanging on really tightly. So it looks like someone might not want to let them go. Uh, maybe someone's trying to not, not persuade them. I'm not getting that, but um, okay, how do I say this? It's more like a feeling. Uh, so if you've had this feeling, like, like when you were together with this person, if you had this feeling that maybe someone wasn't too happy with you being together or, you know, it might be a family member, it might be someone who was interested in them, even someone lurking around, someone kind of hanging around, hanging on to them. Um, so it looks like they're still around. So if they come and talk to you, if you decide to go back together with this person, excuse me, I think this other person might unfortunately still be around them. But the thing here is, I don't think they're going to listen to this person. I really, really don't. Yeah, they're not going to listen to them. Um, they're not going to listen to anyone, actually, I don't think. Because if you look at this man, he's holding on to everything. I'll lift that up so you can see. So he's holding on to everything. He's holding on to his thoughts. He's holding on to his feelings. He's, you know, they've got feelings for you, this person. So they're thinking about that. They're not telling anyone about that, maybe. And, you know, this man's not sharing his feelings. He's not sharing what he's thinking. And he's got his back to the town. He's got his back to all the people, to everyone. So they're not telling this person about um, the fact that they'd like to come forward to you. They're keeping that to themselves. And the other big, big thing I'm seeing here is they really, really, really want to hold on to what they had with you. They lost that at one time and now they're thinking, no, I want to hold on to that again. It's very, very clear and it's all over this reading that this is what they want to do. But yeah, again, really, really take your time. Really think about this because you're about to take off. 
you're about to take off with studying, work, business, career, something like that. You're about to go on this really, really interesting road, really exciting road. Um, and uh, so you don't want to have this person drag you down again. I'm not saying they're going to do that. Um, but just just really, really think about this. Really think with your head, not with your emotions. That That's what I'm getting now. Okay, so yeah, so the first card you have your future is the fool. So here we are. This is about this work, career, business thing. And there's a really, really clear sequence here with all these cards going down this all in a row. So I'm going to talk about all of them together. So firstly, look at this fool. Look at how free he is. He's so free. And that's what I was getting in the Eight of Pentacles. The work is going to set you free. So he's following his own path. He's doing his own thing. And yeah, there's this, there's this little dog here and it's, it's barking. It's trying to stop him from going forward. So I think there might actually be a bit of time, a big chunk of time actually, a big lot of, yeah, a big lot of thinking time um, between now and when this person actually comes to contact you. So there's going to be this time um, between now and then, a bit of time, might actually be something like a few months, might be a bit of time like that, might be one month, might be a few weeks, but a bit of time, enough time to get you to really, really think and really start working and really start moving, really start taking action toward all these things that you want to do. This, especially this big work thing that I'm seeing here. And in that time, it might be that you decide that you don't want to go back to them. Because if you look at this fool, you know, he's so passionate about where he's going. He's really passionate. He's looking toward his future. He's not letting the dog stop him. So, you know, I, I really think this thing, this career, this business or whatever this is, um, you know, you've got lots and lots of passion for this because this is something you wanted to do. You wanted to do this and you had to stop this. And now it's like, oh, now I've got this chance to do this again. I can do this again now. So that's kind of what I'm getting now. Mm. And, and look at the sun. This is really interesting because this isn't a yellow sun. It's not a golden sun. It's a white sun. And white's all about purity. It's all about pure light, pure light shining on you. So what this is showing you is, this is the right thing to do. This is the right way to go. This is what's going to lift you up. This is what's going to lift you up. Now, that doesn't mean no to love and yes to career. You can have both. Of course, you can have both. But to me, it feels like, you know, at one time you put everything into love. You put everything into this person. You fell so deeply in love with them. And now, You've got this opportunity put, to put all of that into you. So, yeah, put yourself first, especially if things were promised to you, but they weren't delivered. Because what you need to do is you need to give yourself these things, the things that were promised to you. You missed out on those things. You're really disappointed. Now you can give them to yourself. You can give them to yourself and you deserve to give them to yourself. You really, really do. So, you know, I'd love to be able to tell you what's going to happen um, at the end of this. I can't quite see what the outcome is. You might end up saying yes to them. There are a lot of variables here um, and it depends on what they say to you as well and it depends on what happens in between that big gap when you know you start really working on yourself, you start really working on things and then they come back after that. It's almost like you're going to be a changed person, that's what I'm seeing. So by the time they come back you're going to be totally changed. And I'm seeing that in um, the Queen of Wands as well, because the Queen of Wands, you know, she's a go-getter. She goes after her work. She goes after a career. She's very, very strong and powerful in that way. And the other thing about this Queen is she's a very, very straightforward Queen. So she looks you right in the eye. She's a very honest Queen. She is very honest. She says what she thinks and she expects other people to be honest with her. So when you have that conversation, they're going to be really surprised. They're going to be like, wow, we've got this really um, go-getting person who's really expecting a lot from me. They're expecting honesty. And of course you expect honesty from them. So that's what's going to happen. They're going to have a bit of surprise, a bit of a surprise when they do come back and talk to you. 
and uh, you know look at the difference in where you're focusing now and where you were focusing you know the queen of cups was all emotions was all she's got her head down she's looking down and if you look at the page of pentacles looking toward that money looking toward that career he's looking up it's all golden it's all very promising and you know if you look at where he's standing this is all springtime all these beautiful flowers so there's lots and lots and lots of promise here so whether you go back to them or not whatever happens when they do come back and talk to you again it might be a couple of weeks might even be a couple of months but in that time you'll be able to really get that head start and really get this business or this work thing or whatever this is off the ground or at least start planning and taking some kind of action 